Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's the end of the quiz. I right, thank you. Go down the line. Go for the eyes. Why don't you say something, please, Shirley? I just wanted to say that Miss Pasta, two nights away from Adam, has been quite tough because I've missed him. But I miss him a lot, really, because he always seems to be away. I don't know where. I mean, he tells me it's work. Go, Susan, I think that's enough. But doing the swap, it was so nice living with somebody that, that truly cared about my feelings treated me with respect and dignity. Because it's been so long since I've had that. OK, yeah, we, we get it. You can come down now. Come on. And it was so nice to be living with somebody that isn't sleeping with their work colleague. Whoa. Now we're cooking. Or a patient. Or his personal trainer. Or any bit of skirt that happened to be passing by. Susan. You're drunk and you're embarrassing yourself. Wait, wipe down, as I'll turf you out. Go on, babe. It's just a relief not to worry where he is. The constant lies, the emergency appointments. It was just nice to be noticed. <laughs> and to be appreciated. And not to be treated like a piece of dirt and walked over because I deserve better than that. Don't touch me! Just don't you dare touch me! Please, don't give up on us. How about the Alps? Luxury log cabin with some skiing. The kids will love it. I'll book it right now. That's what you promised her. You promised who what? Habiba, that's what you promised her last Christmas. Why are you always so desperate to go away, Adam? What is it? it was a, last time it was Grand Canaria. What, you, you've got a girl in every port? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what it is, no, isn't no, no. it? You've got it all wrong. Why? Why bother having affairs? Adam, we're not married, we don't have any kids or a mortgage. You could have easily just walked out. No, you... you wanted somebody. You wanted somebody that would let you get away with it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, wouldn't say anything or do anything like a... like a doormat. A, a proper doormat. Oh, I've just been such an idiot. No, please, 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 just, just don't... don't go. I'm not. Not... Okay, good. Look, look, I'll get some wine. We're, we're, we're going to sit down. We'll you talk are. about it. You're going. <sighs> Susan, stop. <laughs> Susan! Go! <laughs> nice juddies, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. You should be grateful that you even got to share me. What did you say? I mean, come on. A single mum pushing the menopause. Works in a corner shop. More baggage than a 747. You struck gold, Susan. And you know it. You've always known it. She's got this. You knew about Habiba, all the others. All along. And yet, you think so little of yourself you stayed with me. I mean, that's about as pathetic as you can get. I guess you were too busy sticking your fingers down your throat to care. Oh, you crazy bitch. You know, Billy was brought up in care too. You know that? But he cares for me and he cares for my kids, whereas you, Adam, you're just scum. Yeah, well, you're welcome to each other. Proper golden couple. Look out, Pox and Bex. Oh, oh. one final word. Hope you know a good dentist. <laughs> Show's over! Leave me now. I never doubted you. 
not too late to change your mind, you know. Nothing is going to stop this wedding going ahead. Comes the bride, big fat one. I think she looks beautiful, especially from behind. He's drunk. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. God our Father, you have taught us through your Son that love is the fulfilling of the law. Grant to your servants, Susan and William, the gift of marriage brings together both husband and wife in the delight and tenderness of sexual union and the joyful commitment to one another to the end of your life. <laughs> Oh, turn around. What's I need your back. Just do it. What are you doing? I'm breathing through the pain. Pain? I can't be the baby. Oh, can you just give us a moment, please, Vicar? Yes, of course. It's past. It's past. Carry on. It is also I given... I through that, didn't I, Billy? I don't know what I was so scared about. He's the baby, isn't he? Oh, my God. Sorry, Vicar. Look, we've got to get you to the hospital. It's going to be ours yet, Billy. Please, carry on, Vicar. Honey. No, we've got this far. I'd like our baby to be born on the right side of the duvet. You, you, you don't mind? Do you think we could uh, get him over? Yes. Yes. The gift of marriage brings together husband... No, 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 we've already had that bit. Oh, uh, right, yes. Um, yeah, uh, 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 um, <clears throat> it is also given as the foundation of family life into which children are born. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Susan and William have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. And I therefore proclaim, you are now husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Billy. What? My waters. What about? Oh, it's broken. The baby's coming. She's coming out now. Where do you think they've got to? <laughs> Next left. I said left, Dad. I took a left. She meant right. Right. Don't turn right, Jack. It's a one-way street. I'm going to get her to that hospital. Baby, that's legs that you think. If it's the last thing I do. No. No. It looks good, kill. Yeah, oh, I've been knocking on the pearly gates half hour ago. <laughs> oh, what have you got under there, Sunshine? Uh, right now, eh? Yeah, I feel sorry about what, you know, the church. <laughs> oh, that's all right, Gary says you're in a bad stomach. Right, first drinks on the house. Yeah, right, church. Well, it depends what you mean by all right. Oh. Yes, Charlie. Vodka and tonic for my place. A large one. And half for me. And you'll have a pint. Thanks for covering for me, mate. Yeah, well, I can't believe you were so late. We got to take a time, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah, yeah, well, you shouldn't go promising things if you can't deliver. It was my fault. Uh, so that's not a problem. Yeah, well, I think it is a problem. Look, you got everyone sat down, didn't you? Yeah, no thanks to you. No one got injured. No one got killed. Calm down. Calm down! Having a baby. My daughter's having a baby. Oh, yeah. Come on, oh. Oh, she 
really having a baby? Oh, Perhaps he'll answer his phone now. Oh, where's the nurse? I suppose we're alive, Dad, after your driving. Right, take it oh, Billy, oh, no! Come, come breathe in through the nose, honey, out through the mouth. Oh, no, honey, just, just keep nose. breathing. Shut up, Dad. What? I said shut up, Dad. He's still on voicemail. Oh. There. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's gone for now. Good. Right, let's get her inside. Come on. Let me go, Dad. But I don't want you here. Then we're just going to pop just you in. Just go the... away. Go? Yes. Away? Yes. Where? Anywhere I can manage. No, don't you think it'd be better if you just... I want you to go away, Dad. Her hospital case. He's back at the front. She needs her hospital case. Right. I'll call you a cab. <laughs> he can't go, Jack. He's the dad. I'm her dad. Billy's the baby's dad. Don't worry. We'll go and fetch the case. She told me to go away. She's in labour. She doesn't know what she's saying. Now, come on, we've got a job to do. And you, you stay here and see if you can be of any help to them. I won't be able to use my phone in there, will I? Oh! That's it, honey. <laughs> Lovely big push for me now. Oh, I can't. Yes, you can. Oh, Pat was right. Pat? She said it was like poo and a melon. Oh, a baby's better than a melon. <laughs> push, oh, honey. I am pushing. I do love her, Billy, but she don't have nag. Oh, OK, I'm one a... more, honey. Oh! Good girl. OK. Oh! Right, the head's oh. crowning. Honey, I want you to pan for me now and give me tiny little pushes. Can you do that for yeah. me? Do you want to come and have a look? I, I, I'm not really sure. Go look up, baby Billy. Can you see the top of baby's head? Um. Oh, men. Is he all right? Yeah, don't worry about him, honey. A lovely big push for me now. I can't go on much longer. Okay, come on the shoulders. One more big push for me, sweetheart. We'll have him out. That's it. Well done. He's a mum. He's a baby, all right. <laughs> Looks perfect to me. You want to take a look, see what you've got? It's a boy. I think you're looking at the umbilical cord, love. It's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. <laughs> Hello, Janet. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye to Daddy, Janet. Oh, bye, Daddy. Where are you going? Oh, we're talking about going away on a little holiday, aren't we? And we we'll see Daddy really soon. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's got to be really soon, isn't it? Because it's Janet's birthday. We're going to have cakes and, and balloons, aren't we? It's our anniversary, huh? Oh. Um, please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Please. Please, baby, we got seeing your children, Billy. OK? No, don't. 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 I'm sorry.
Everything. Everything. <laughs> oh, wow. <sighs> it's a bit much, and I can barely walk. <laughs> you look incredible. So do you. I love the shawl. This old thing. <laughs> Should we open this now? Oh, champagne. Of course. Yeah. We need to celebrate. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, just hold on to it. Make sure you've got firm grip so it doesn't shoot out prematurely. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean like that. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> well, I'm not... I'm not gonna win. <laughs> There's a lady who's terminally ill. And she's got alpacas. And you made a huge difference to loads of people at Christmas. Not to mention today. For me, you spoke to Ash, didn't you? I may have done. <laughs> she texted me. She's more open to the surgery idea. Mm, that's fantastic. <laughs> Do you know what? It's no good. I just feel that this is sort of screaming. Hello, boys. <laughs> so I think I might knit back and no, get changed. No, 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 honey. You're stunning. And we don't care what people think, remember? <laughs> if you're feeling a bit exposed, why don't you borrow this? It was my mother's. It's beautiful. <laughs> but now I couldn't. Oh, I insist. <laughs> May I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think of Sympathy Votes dress? And don't say unique. Oh, I was actually going to say the exact word. Because you're too white. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the flying monkeys. Suki, <laughs> stop it. <sighs> I'd like to make a toast to my employee of the month. Who, me? <laughs> oh, well, this is uh, totally unexpected. Um, and I would like to thank um, the customers for being so friendly. And the till for doing the math. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, and I would like to dedicate this award to my boss and best supporting friend, Suki. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. make yourself at home. Oh, no. Sorry, no, no stop, you no, you're so tidy. No, 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 no. <laughs> make a mess. Oh. Oh. Okay. oh, oh, go Suki, go Suki. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like this side of you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> then stop hiding it. You don't have to be strong all the time. Okay? <laughs> Let other people see, you know, the funny, kind, incredible. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, but it, it's OK. It, you know, it's OK. We both had a bit too much to drink. Maybe I should go. I... No, I know. Listen, it's OK. Please, Suki, do not worry. Um, 
but we've all been there, we've all done it, so, all right, please. Leave. Please. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you, Billy. Are you finishing with me? Bill, you are one of the kindest, most thoughtful blokes I've ever been with. We've had some good times. But let's not kid ourselves. I mean, we ain't no Romeo and Juliet, are we? And all what I've been through over the past few months, I'm, I'm not the same person I was when we met. You know, we're in such different places. This is about the pants, isn't it? No, this... This ain't just about the pants. I mean, I know I get things wrong sometimes. It's just, I'm, I'm just trying to make you happy. Yeah, but well, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, I don't think anyone can make me happy at the moment. No, I can. No, you can't. It ain't fair. It's... I don't, I don't even think this is what you want, either. No, it is. Oh, come on, you're still in love with honey. You know it. You always have been. But look, you ain't even taking your wedding ring off. <sighs> now, I've got to do this by myself. I'm sorry. Hiding out in here. Shops are mayhem. It's mine and Martin's first Christmas. Won't be as noisy as yours, though, with all the kids. Especially if Karen brings her lot over. Jay. Oh, I think they're in the kitchen. Billy. Hello? Hiya. What's so scary about fish, then? Pardon? It's Halloween, isn't it? It's supposed to have us all quaking in our boots. Not looking like you go nice with a plate of chips. It's a bit of fun, though, isn't it? Dressing up for the kids, you know. No one said it has to be scary. Well, yeah, but I mean... Yeah, well, I think Annie's done a brilliant job, don't you, kid? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I'm unclever, eh? Of course. Come on, you two. I've got Ollie, Mac, Mia and Bailey upstairs, and they're putting their costumes together, if you fancy helping. <laughs> yeah, go on. See ya. And I'm seeing you later for the costume competition, yeah, Billy? You better believe it. Yeah. This is jealous, eh? Can't say a button. You're right, huh? Yeah. You just look really tired. Well, maybe, Billy, because I've been up all night sewing costumes for my kids. Yeah, sorry. I mean... Yeah, just, OK. All I was meaning was... OK. okay. Sorry. You know what? I actually am. Oh, good. Susan, I wanted to say something. I'm sorry. I've not been around lately and work, it's... No, it's, it's all right. No, it's not. I've allowed myself to get sucked in and... Well, it's not fair on you, is it? Anyway, let me make it up to you. Really? What do you mean? Yeah! Well done. <laughs> Let's get away somewhere, properly, not just a weekend break. What about the kids? Well, they're coming too, like a proper family holiday abroad. Are you sure? Of course. Adam, they will be over the moon. We haven't had a proper holiday in ages. We absolutely deserve it. Oh, here we 
go. Adam, you're up next. Oh, Me? Oh, OK. Come on, Terrifying mob, I think you'll all agree. You've pulled it right out of the bag with your costumes this year. We've got werewolves here, we've got zombies, there's a geezer with no nut. We've got whatever Karen and Mitch are. Oh, we're zombie superheroes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you know, there can only be one winner. I've counted up the votes myself. Here's your drum roll, girl. <clears throat> It gives me great pleasure to announce the Queen Vic Halloween Costume Competition 2019 winners are... <laughs> Honey and Adam! Sorry, let me get this right. Lexi told you. Who told Jada, who then went and told Martin, who told Sonia, who told Pops. But meanwhile, on the other side of town, you got Ash telling Honey. Not one of you fall to ask me, no? Do you know what? I'm going to throttle that little cow. Sorry. Just saw red. Yeah, well, you might want to plant your feet next time before you suck up on someone. Uh, actually, I did call you out, so technically it wasn't... Oh, well, that's that sorted, isn't it? So what, you don't love me anymore? I didn't say that. Well, you didn't have to. Believed I'm cheating. I, I, am I that horrible? I didn't say that either. So what are you saying, honey? Because I'm a little confused. You know, this morning, we was happy going away to a spa, and now you're ending it. We want different things. No, we don't. Yeah, we, no, we do. We, don't. we do. No. We just... Don't want to admit it. I, I don't want to go away to a spa and sit with cucumbers on my eyes. I don't want to go to Peggy's either and get drunk and mess about. I'm at a time in my life where I can focus on me. You, you're not there yet. I mean, you're not going to be there for years. So I, I know, I know you weren't cheating on me with, with Lola, but... You were going out and you were having fun and you were enjoying yourself. Cos when... When was the last time me and you went out and had fun together? Come on, be honest. I was relieved for... for us both. Because... I want you to be happy. I want you to live your life and I want to live mine. We've hurt way too many people now. You know, Billy, the mm. kids, like, we've come so far. Why do you want to throw this away now? And I have no regrets. But if we carry on living two separate lives, you know, we will do. <sighs> I'm sorry, Jay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for... Let me guess. She's still suspicious. Oh, come on, look, I'll send Lexi over tomorrow. I've tried calling Ash, but she's gone eight well, so... She's ended things with me. What? Because of a rumour? Really? She says that we want different things. But she's wrong. All I ever wanted was to settle down. And you know that more than anyone. I know it's sad, but I never saw it with my mum and dad, so I always wanted it for myself, do you know what I mean? And me and Honey, like, we had that. Are you sure that's all you want? Look, Jay, I don't want to dig up any dirt between me and you. <sighs> but I know you, and I know you want to be a dad one day. 
You put it on the back burner for me, and now you've done it for honey and all. Maybe she's right. Maybe you do want different things. Hey, maybe you want to give a kid something that you never had. Maybe you're right. She's dying! Please! Please let me out! Sorry. No, you will be. I had no choice. He attacked a police officer. You can get him out, Cody Jack. I thought it would be a quick night in the cells and a ticking off, but... Nish has given a witness victim statement. He wants to go to court, so it's out of my hands. The CPS want to make a case about it. It's down to them, not me. A okay, case? So it's down to Nish that he's still in it. OK, what if he, um, you know, changes his mind, Jack, or, or withdraws his statement? What happens then? He could be released. Phil, wait. Hi. Oh. How's she doing? Not, not good. Unfortunately, Billy did cause serious damage to my property. And I need a crime number or my insurance won't pay out. If you don't need a statement, no, do you? Phil, please. Look, I know Billy committed a crime and, and he was wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. But put yourself in his shoes. Yeah, I mean, you're a family man, aren't you? You're a dad. Please. I'm begging you, please, show some mercy. <sighs> I just wish Billy made better choices. Grateful. That was cold. Your husband won't withdraw his statement against Billy. Excuse me? Which means he's going to miss saying goodbye to Lola. I'm sorry, honey, but what Nish does or doesn't do has got nothing to do with me. Well, I suspect you could be more persuasive than you realise. Because if you don't get him to change his mind, I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him about the night that I was sat on your sofa thinking that I was just being a caring friend while all the while you were waiting to stick your tongue down my throat. I don't want to use blackmail, Suki, because I'm not that type of person. But sometimes in life you have to reach down deep in the mud and fling it so hard, because frankly, that's all you have left. Are we clear? Crystal. Look who I found. Is here. Oh, you really need to know is how much I love you. <laughs> oh, I love you. Forever. I'll always be if it. I, I love. I love you too. 